Hey y'all, what y'all doing? This Kawana here, Kawana Brick House. Look, I wanted to leave y'all with something quick today. This is for the ladies, gentlemen, okay? So you can watch, but share, share it with your women, share it with the women. Look, okay, so I was in the house, right? And you know how you, you at night, you're, you're, you're picking up things, cleaning up around the house. Well, my daughter, my, young, my youngest child, she had my shoes on and she broke one of my heels. Check it out. She broke the heel, right? So I was like, oh my gosh, these are my favorite heels. What in the ham sandwich? What am I going to do now? I can't do nothing but throw them away. Why are they my favorite heels? Because they have army, they're army fatigue. Look, I have always been this warrior type of woman, you know, ready to go to war, ready to do whatever it takes to make things happen. But look, I just want to share something with you ladies. There comes a time in this life, in our lives, where we have to learn to be meek. We have to learn to be gentle. We have to learn to have a quiet spirit. I first want to take you to a quick verse, okay, from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses four and five. And it reads, it says, instead, it should be that your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Actually, that's the only verse I need to share that with you, right? God want us ladies to have a gentle and quiet spirit. It's nothing wrong with having your opinion. It's nothing wrong with voicing your opinion. It's nothing wrong with standing up for what's right. But we, as women, we need to learn our place. We need to learn when to hold it and when to fold it. That's a word I've been using lately. It's nothing wrong with pulling back, learning when to speak, and learning when not to speak. You know what I'm saying? We don't always have to have the last say in a conversation. I just wanted to drop in today and give you some words of encouragement to hold it and to fold it. Don't clap back at your man, your husband. Look, relax, relate, and release. I also want to quickly share another verse with you. And that verse is, it is uh, Proverbs 25, verse 24. Guess what it says? I love the King James Bible version. It says, it is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. A brawling woman. That's a woman with her dukes up. She ready to fight, y'all. But look, let me take you to another version. King James, the new King James version. It says, it is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Y'all hear that word, contentious? That word is deep. It sounds like it could cut you. You want to know what contentious mean? Contentious, contentious means someone who likes to argue and fight. Ladies, do you like to argue and fight? I want you to know your husband don't want to come home to arguing and fighting all the time. Not even some of the times. He wants to come home to a safe haven that's full of peace. That's full of grace and mercy, of love. You know, you want to stroke his ego. You want to have that gentle, quiet spirit. Ladies, let's work on this. Huh? Huh? Learn from someone who did it. Who, 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 who was that? I was that. I knew how to use this mouth. But the Lord is teaching me how to have a gentle we can do it. Love you all. Share this video, subscribe to my channel, and come back for more. And this goes out to not only the older women, but to the younger generation. Ladies, it starts at your age. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it together. We can do it. I know a lot of us had to raise our own children by ourselves. I know some of the men have walked out, but guess what? 
Don't allow what has happened to you to mold you and make you into this bitter woman. The Lord has called you to be a beautiful Proverbs 31 woman. You got this. You can do this, okay? And you can do it with grace, meekness, and love. Love you all.